Hi there, Alex from TCSN Power, and today I'm reviewing the CN 51.2 100 amp hour 19 inch rack mount battery. So this battery is very simple, CAN bus RS485 up to 16 units in parallel, very easy to connect, M6 uh, studs, and inside we have a bit of a look in here, so really big cabling, you know, very capable of 1C and above, really nice welded bus bars, little insulators holding these, so really good for vibration. Strain relief on all the BMS cables is nice. There's four temperature probes, so there'll be four on the, on the cells themselves, and then there'll be one on the battery MOSFET, so five in total. The BMS has this really nice aluminium plate here as well to separate the heat from the BMS from the cells, so the, the BMS MOSFETs aren't gonna be impacting the cells at all. In the lid, it's got a fire suppression pad. So what that does is at a given temperature, that releases a chemical that can extinguish a, a fire, should there be a fire. The battery, the pack itself is assembled with high density foam the whole way around it on every side, including the front. So this can be installed in a vertical installation or on its side. And it can also be installed in a mobile application, which is really nice. The cells are capable of 6,000 cycles to 0% state of charge, so a very long lifespan. There it is, 100 amp hours. So everything after this is essentially over capacity. So I've gone down to 0.1C to go down to the lower voltage threshold, and we'll see where it finishes. It's a little bit hard to believe, but this battery is still going. So I'm at 101.5 amp hours, 45 volts, and I've actually wound it back up to 0 0.3, 0 0.4 C, just being totally impatient because it just seems to keep on going. So once the voltage gets a little, gets a little bit lower, I'll drop the discharge rate down a bit to really get the last out of these cells. 102. That's the end. Here we can see successful CAN communication between the CN51.2 and a Victron Servo GX. You can see total modules online, total system amp hours, charge voltage limits, charge and discharge current limits, temperatures, state of health, state of charge. This video is a summary of my findings testing the CN51.2 and whilst it surmises it, the testing I've done has been a lot more substantial than what has been in just this video. I've done 1C charges and discharges, I've done communications tests, I've done probably in total 5 or 10 charge and discharge cycles using a load bank and a Victron inverter and overall I think it's an impressive battery. If you've got any more questions or would like some more information, please feel free to reach out.